folks, Rob here. And I thought we'd come out this morning. It's a pretty nice morning here in Kentucky. Uh, thought I'd bring out the uh, the Hunt Pro uh, sling that they sent me over and the Hunt Pal. And I brought out a couple guns here and we're going to be putting them on them, see how they work. And uh, uh, I just wanted to commend uh, Hunt Pal. Hunt Pal sent me an email. Uh, they had watched they watched my videos and and they uh, had noticed that we I had with the family had been under the weather and uh, they emailed me and uh, with concern for uh, my family and our health and uh, wanted to give their support and uh, it ain't often you have a company do that for you you know I've had a lot of people reach out through the YouTube but as far as a company uh, nobody's uh, that they're the ones that means a lot to me. And that that really does that that shows that even if they're you know all things being equal if their product's equal to this product or that product guess which product i'm gonna buy if i need something and they have it i'm gonna get it from them because they were uh, did show enough compassion and concern to reach out to me and check on my our well-being so anyway with that being said i first we got our hunt pal sling here and this says for tw uh, 12 gauge, but I'm gonna put down my 20 gauge. Uh, out here this morning, I have our Bacall, Bacall. Uh, this is the, uh, I forget, the MP18. I love this gun, I've had it forever. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite shotguns I own. I've hunted with this gun more. I've killed more squirrels with this shotgun. Uh, typically, if I go hunting, it's with this shotgun, so. And so we're going to install this sling on there. And if you watched the previous, uh, it has this little uh, sling port, a uh, little piece that slides over the barrel, goes over just like that. And we'll tighten down. And then the second part, really couldn't ask for any easier installation. I mean, you basically are undoing these... Uh, and slip this over the buttstock and we're going to tighten it right here back here underneath the pistol grip so that it is like that so it'll it'll carry just like that now i'm going to stand up and we're going to adjust this here's our hunt pal sling on our 20 gauge now i'm probably going to have to Y'all might not have noticed, but I'm a pretty good sized feller. And I'm probably going to have to let this out a little bit. Uh, if I can figure out how to do it. See, that's two piece, so this should slide down. Let me put it on here. Maybe. It'll... Actually, that's not too bad. Actually, I don't know that it needs any. It might need a little bit if I was going to carry it across. But uh, you can see that's, uh, yeah, I'd have to adjust it out if I was going to carry it. But just carrying it around your waist like that. You got your thumb sling here, your thumb piece. That's pretty nice. That's how it would. That's how it would look right there. And then if you needed to shoot. That's not in the way at all. Not at all. That is how it looks. Pretty nice little sling. Kind of how it goes across. You got your leather piece here. Grips your barrel. This could actually be loosened out a little bit. I actually think I got that. Oh, there's a the way it go. I had it upside down. There's a the way it go. You want to put that underneath the pistol grip. There you go. That's how it goes. That way you got them both on the uh, the front side. Yeah. Nice. 
not the way this really sticks to your shoulder I mean literally it does not move off your shoulder the, I like that I think you can fit uh, 20 gauges in here and as of course now if you put 12s in it and get it all stretched out it probably wouldn't work for 20s but since this is going to be on the 20 and that's all I'll ever put in it that is what we'll use so there I have three extra 20 gauges right there at my shoulder so I can pop one out drop my shotgun fire eject have an extra in my hand break it open load it back that's uh that's pretty handy and they'll be right there on this sling and it will fit 20 gauge like i said if you stretch it out with 12s it's probably not going to work with 20s but if you intend for it to go on a 20 initially and don't get them all stretched out i think that would work fine i don't believe them will go anywhere this will be the sling that will stay on the bike haul permanently because this if i go hunting this is probably more than likely the gun that I will take. Uh, good possibility. So, anyway, that is a look at the Hunt Pal shotgun sling. I think these are like 15 bucks. They're not expensive at all. And look at the, uh, the silicone dots on the back of that. And it's thickly padded. You could easily carry a, a really heavy gun with this. And if I was smart enough, yeah, I just need to get some of the weight of the gun off of it. Yeah, to adjust it out, you just need to get some of the weight of the gun. That made it a little longer. Yeah. Hook your finger right there. Carry your gun right here. Carry it here. Doesn't want to move. It's stuck there. I'll give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And until the next video, we'll see y'all later.